Hey everybody, this is Doctor Who. This is season 12. This is episode 6. I'd try and pronounce this, but I didn't, so I'm not going to. I am so sorry this has taken me so long to do. I am absolutely snowed under at university at the moment and there's a lot of personal things going on as well which kind of haven't been great so I wasn't really able to kind of upload much to be honest over the past few days so I do apologise for that. In regards to this episode I have no idea what to expect. I don't think we'll see Jack back so soon after last week. I don't think we'll see Ruth either if I'm being honest nor do I think we'll see this lone Cyberman. I think that's all going to culminate more toward the end of the season. I'm kind of anticipating episodes 9 and 10 will possibly be a two-parter. But I would like to see if other characters do pop in and out. Because as I think I said at the end of the last video, it's quite interesting to see if other companions or people who've travelled in the TARDIS have been affected as well. Um, you know, why is it just Jack that's kind of knows about this lone Cyberman? Are there others out there that do as well? So that would be something I would love to see. Whether or not we get that, I don't know. I just want an excuse for River to come back, basically. So <laughs> that's all I'm holding out for. I'd be really interested to see what this one's about, whether or not we're going to carry on from last episode in a sense of we're picking up straight after or are we going to have a period of time that's passed. I'd like to kind of figure that out. So without further delay, I'm just going to go straight on into this. Let's go. Planet Earth, early in the third decade of the 21st century. Population, 7 billion. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, hell. Is this a satellite? I was going to say, they'd have to call the filth. You don't have to say anything. anything you do it's say. the filth. Oh! I have always wanted to go to Peru. This was paradise. Gabriella, there's no way in hell we're camping here tonight. <sighs> Has she just been killed by a blackbird? Oh, look at him jumping out! I love stuff like that. Oh. <gasps> Who's that? Creepy as shit. Get out of there right now. Ryan in Peru, but these guys are in our Hong Kong. Why are we in loads of different places? <laughs> One day I will get him for you. But I'm always ready for work. And you are the only other person out here. Okay, but I swear I haven't seen her. I'm here because of what's wrong with the birds. You think I'll buy that? I'm Gabriella. I'm guessing you know that. No. I hate when we yes, end I up say. in yes, I. places like this. In space agency. And they're missing astronaut. You're missing persons and astronauts. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Let's put him down. This is a US naval uniform. What's he doing here? Oh. It's all right. You're safe. <gasps> What's on his hand? No, not. What's on his hand? The circles. There was an impact. What's on his hand? Uh. Uh. I just can't see it yet. Between what things? A missing submarine. Astronaut. A dead naval officer off the coast the of Malaysia. The beds. Birds going haywire in Peru. It's lost its beak. Same as the river. This is not good. She's totally dead, isn't she? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at her face. Even more dangerous than I thought, and it's spreading, which could mean. And we need to get to Hong Kong. Have you heard from Yaz and Graham? Chat, 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 chat. <laughs> I told you he was here. I'm gonna get this stuff off him. Wait, not until we know what all this stuff is doing. But Yaz is right, he can't just go blundering in. Oh, God. Graham, get him out! <laughs> you just said that was a <laughs> 
Fuck did she come from? Is it like um an optical illusion? Here's the doors! That's Ryan! We're not all gonna fit in there. You'll be surprised. We don't have enough time. You go, come back for me. We don't have enough time. It's too dangerous. We need to know why Adam was taken there. Oh. I did say it hurt. No, you didn't. Well, I meant to. It takes a blood sample for analysis. He said to call if anything else unusual happened. Oh, what is going on? Birds are looking wrong here too. I only saw the past few oh, days. that bird looks bizarre. You know, it's not the first bird to fly off its course. It's not native to Madagascar. Wow, so the birds are moving around the world. That's why you smell a dead bird. I thought you'd change your shower gel. <laughs> Doc, Adam's in a bad way in there. <laughs> it's like the leader of the birds, this one. Now you get out. Yes, get out. Yeah. It's wearing a body bag. Jake. See if you can rig up an IV. We need to get some medicine into Adam, try and stabilize him. I have no idea how to do that. What is it? Oh, it's going to start growing. And right now, I don't know how we stop it overwhelming you. Ready? Oh, for God's sake. We're still alive. We didn't die. Is this a ship? Teleport into an active volcano. Is that a submarine? The antibiotics aren't working. It's getting worse. Oh, God. Doc. Doc. Haramu says that the bird's are getting really angrier. Oh. Microfiltration. Hey, Doc. Run for your life. Ryan Sinclair picks up a dead bird in Peru and might just have saved the world. Well, I am here for you guys, you know. If we isolate and boost the enzyme, then splice them, we'd have one supercharged virus. Doctor, did you hear what I said? Yeah. Thanks, Shaz. Oh, bloody hell. Where did that come from? Oh, I'm a sucker for a scientist. Where did she just go? <laughs> Do you know, I hate having to run when I've got like a backpack on my back. We need a clinical trial of human body. There's one here. I know you've got one. Yeah. We don't have time to argue. Just really luckily, it, they grew not on the vein. A long way below the Indian Ocean. That's cool. Oh, what? Infected with Praxius, but the body hasn't disintegrated. Must be due to the different biology. I don't get it. Going somewhere? Who were they, Suki? The infected people in the hazmat suits. We travelled across three galaxies to find the perfect living laboratory. To use Earth as a petri dish, destroying one race to save the remnants of your own. Please tell me you haven't administered it on yourself. Sure he has. Stay out of my way. Oh! What's happening to me? I've been spreading. How do I stop it? Your machine's about this out. That's the antidote. Oh, and by the way, where the hell are we? <laughs> Follow me. <gasps> What's to do? Engine vents on. Literally the controls for up down. That's all you need to know. Adam Lang, your job is so easy. Shallow initiating autopilot takeoff. What was that? Autopilot failure. It can't connect. Oh my god, he went back in. <laughs> Just press every button. Press it. How did she? I enjoyed that. There were a couple of moments actually where I absolutely shit myself. <laughs> Which was, you know not cool. I thought that was quite a good story. The effect of the 
the Praxius spreading, I thought was brilliant. Um, I liked that quite a lot, actually. There's, there's been quite a few stories the last few seasons that have been very kind of, I don't really know kind of the word, word to use, really, but they've kind of explored kind of different things that are affecting society in the world at the, at the moment. Um, there's kind of a lot of them. And a part of me really misses just running around on new planets that we've never been to before and doing loads of random stuff and just seeing new things. Um, but I did enjoy this. It was just missing just a little something for me. Um, but overall, I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was it was really good. I'll be interested to see what Sunday's episode brings. I'd like us to go to a new planet because we've been on Earth um, quite a lot lately. So I'd like to kind of venture out and go somewhere new. So that would be quite nice if we could do that. But I'm just going to sign off and say thank you and see you guys later. So thanks.